Hello everyone, welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that American farmers produce over 60.6 .6 million pounds of asparagus every year? Asparagus isn't just a nutritious, refreshing vegetable. It's also a symbol of culinary sophistication, packed with vitamins and minerals, and offers a unique, unforgettable flavor. Join us as we explore the incredible journey from lush asparagus fields where each spear is carefully harvested, not only by hand, but also with the help of advanced machinery to maximize efficiency. After that, they are sent to state-of-the-art factories where the asparagus goes through a thorough cleaning and sorting process and is turned into convenient products ready for any meal. Now let's dive into the fresh, vibrant world of asparagus. Let's get started. Speaking of asparagus, did you know there are two common types of this vegetable? Green asparagus and white asparagus. Each has its own unique and distinct flavor. In the US, asparagus is mainly grown in California, Washington, and Michigan. Three states with the perfect climate and nutrient-rich soil for this vegetable to thrive. Typically, it takes about two to three months for asparagus to grow before it's ready for harvest. And when spring arrives, that's when you'll get to witness the precise and skilled process of harvesting asparagus, from traditional methods to the use of modern technology. In the early mornings on the asparagus fields in California, when the dew is still resting on the stalks, farmers begin their work. They bend down, carefully examining each asparagus spear to select the ones that have reached the ideal length, usually about 8 to 10 inches. With a sharp knife or specialized cutting tool, they gently cut the spears at the base, being careful not to damage the root system so the plant can continue to grow. Each spear is then placed neatly in a basket, making sure it doesn't bend or break. This is a task that requires not only strength, but also patience and precision, as each spear must be handled carefully to maintain its freshness. When it comes to white asparagus, the process is much more intricate. Since it's grown under layers of soil or fabric to block sunlight, farmers must first lift each sheet of fabric before harvesting. In some larger farms, modern technology has started to assist farmers, helping reduce the need for manual labor. These advanced harvesting machines, designed to carry workers as they sit on them, gently glide over the rows of crops. The workers sitting on these machines can easily cut the asparagus as the machine moves slowly, saving time and protecting the plants from damage. What's even more special is when harvesting white asparagus. There are machines equipped with lifting arms on both sides that can simultaneously raise dozens of fabric sheets. This not only helps farmers save time, but also optimizes labor, allowing them to focus on harvesting more efficiently. Once the fabric sheets are lifted, the farmers carefully use knives to cut each white asparagus spear and gently place them onto the harvesting machine's conveyor belt. The conveyor then moves the asparagus upwards, where workers are waiting to collect and carefully pack them into containers. Not just stopping at manual methods, American farmers have taken asparagus harvesting to a whole new level with the introduction of advanced, fully automated equipment. For white asparagus, modern harvesting machines move along the rows of crops, with their mechanical arms gently lifting the fabric sheets, creating space for the next step. The sensor system not only detects the location of the asparagus, but also adjusts the pulling force to ensure it's just right preventing any damage to the plants or the roots, which need to be preserved for the plants to continue growing. Once the spears are pulled up, they are neatly placed on an integrated conveyor belt that moves them up to the machine. 
Here, workers are waiting to collect, inspect each spear, and then carefully place them into containers, ready for the next processing step. For green asparagus, the harvesting machines are designed similarly, but there's no need for a fabric lifting system, since the spears grow directly on the ground. The machines still use smart sensors to detect the height and position of each spear, ensuring that only the spears that meet the standards are harvested. The automatic cutting blades gently trim each spear at the base and smoothly move them onto the conveyor belt. This process helps save a significant amount of time and labor while ensuring that the quality of the green asparagus is not compromised. The use of machinery in asparagus harvesting marks a significant advancement in agriculture bringing many outstanding benefits. Machines help reduce manual labor, increase productivity, and save a considerable amount of time. At the same time, they ensure consistency and quality of the product, meeting the growing demands of the market. This automation not only enhances production efficiency, but also reduces long-term costs, allowing farmers to focus on other aspects of farming and management. The integration of technology into asparagus harvesting not only improves efficiency, but also opens up opportunities for sustainable development in modern agriculture. After the asparagus is harvested, its journey doesn't stop at the field. To reach consumers as a high-quality product, the asparagus goes through a careful processing process in modern factories. When the asparagus arrives at the factory, it goes through an automatic washing system with clean water to remove all dirt, sand, and impurities from the field. After that, the asparagus is sorted based on its length, thickness, and shape to ensure uniformity in each batch. Next, any spears that don't meet the standards are discarded, while those that pass the quality check are quickly cooled using misting or ice water to maintain freshness. After cooling, the asparagus is packed into specialized trays or plastic bags. The packaging is usually designed with ventilation holes to maintain moisture and prevent the buildup of ethylene gas, which causes the asparagus to ripen too quickly. Finally, the trays of asparagus are labeled with product information and moved to a cold storage facility to be kept fresh before being distributed to stores and supermarkets. In addition, asparagus can also be canned, and the processing is more complex to ensure the product can be stored for a long time while retaining its natural flavor. After cleaning and sorting, the asparagus is trimmed to fit the size of the cans or jars. Next, it's blanched in hot water for a few minutes to soften the spears, kill bacteria, and preserve its natural color. After blanching, the asparagus is carefully packed into cans, making sure it looks good and optimizes space. A preserving solution, typically made of diluted salt water or a mixture with citric acid, is poured into the cans to enhance the product's shelf life. 
The cans are then sealed and undergo a high-pressure sterilization process to ensure food safety and extend the shelf life for up to one or two years. So asparagus is now a common sight on dining tables everywhere. And a question often comes up, what's the difference between green asparagus and white asparagus? Well, let's break it down for you. In terms of nutritional value, both types are rich in vitamins A, C, E, and K, as well as important minerals like potassium, phosphorus, and folate. However, green asparagus stands out due to its higher antioxidant content. Thanks to its higher chlorophyll levels, this gives it its characteristic green color and helps support heart health. It has a bold, slightly bitter, and fresh flavor, making it perfect for stir-fries, grilling, or even eaten raw. On the other hand, white asparagus is easier to digest because it contains less fiber, which makes it more suitable for people with sensitive digestive systems. It has a milder, sweeter taste with less bitterness and is often used in high-end dishes with hollandaise sauce or butter. Additionally, white asparagus tends to be more expensive than green asparagus due to its more complex growing process. The differences in nutritional value and flavor between green and white asparagus likely come from the way they are grown. For green asparagus, the plants grow under natural sunlight, which allows them to produce chlorophyll and develop their characteristic green color. For white asparagus, the process is similar to green asparagus, but it requires additional steps to cover the plants during the growing process. This prevents the plants from producing chlorophyll, which helps the asparagus stay white and develop its mild, delicate flavor. So, now you have a complete overview of how American farmers grow, harvest, and process millions of pounds of asparagus every year. This is a clear example of the perfect blend of advanced technology and the dedication and skill of hardworking people. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to keep exploring more fascinating stories from the world of agriculture. Goodbye, and see you in the next video.